guys, it's me, Prady P. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This video is just going to show you how I finally got all of the pieces of Crescent Rose assembled. So I hope you enjoy. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, so unfortunately I lost the footage of myself cutting the foam, but I just made sure to tape down a piece of cardboard as a sturdy surface and cut away from myself using my brand new utility knife. Here you can see where I am just laying out all of the pieces of Crescent Rose just to see how it'll all fit together and where I need to Dremel. And there is the finished product of that. I just glued a smaller PVC pipe into the top for attachments. Then I measured some PVC pipe and laid it in for the skeleton of the blade. Here you can see that I picked out a couple of 10 millimeter pieces of foam and I'm just dremeling out a core so that I can glue those PVC pipes, they were half inch pipes, into my trusty little blade bases, I guess you could call them. It's what I'm what I glued everything to, all of the different pieces. Dremeling that took a long time, and I wasn't wearing a mask the whole time because I'm stupid. So make sure if you are dremeling anything that is dusty, you're wearing a mask because it will make you sick. Then I just sort of sandwiched everything in between the EVA foam with Weldwood contact cement. I learned later that it's actually better to spread the glue out over your pieces and let it dry for a few minutes before trying to stick it together. That just turned into a mess and it had to sit forever <laughs> to dry. <laughs> then after I had my bases dried out, I went ahead and measured out where I would be placing them at the top of the blade. Here I just used a couple of six millimeter pieces of EVA foam as bases and I found when I was gluing things together that the contact cement works great for pieces that fit flat together, but hot glue actually works better when you have to glue something at an angle um, simply because it has a little bit more room to move whenever it's drying, so that worked out pretty well for me. And I made sure to just coat all of the edges, all of the little ridges and pieces, and try to stick them together as well as I could. Honestly, here, I was just flying by the seat of my pants. <laughs> now that I think about it, I could have done this an easier way by just sort of sandwiching 10 millimeter foam up the entire edge up the entire edge of the PVC pipe. It would have worked out a lot better, but you live and learn. I really wasn't sure how I was going to attach everything, but this turned out to be working pretty well. Next, while that was drying, I measured out pieces to sort of fit the bottom portion of my handle. That way I could glue the outer pieces of EVA foam, the actual pieces that will be painted. That way I could glue those straight onto the pipe without any trouble and without having to fold them or bend them or anything. I just used a little cut off piece of the pipe to measure those. Once I learned how the contact cement worked, it actually ended up being a much faster process. Basically, you just spread it out over your two surfaces you wipe off the excess with a piece of scrap foam and you just sort of put it all together once it's dried for at least probably five minutes or so. Once I had the little sandwich pieces put together, I just hot glued them to the side of the PVC pipe. And it worked out pretty well. Hot glue actually worked amazingly well for that. 
And here you can see the finished skeleton. That was the base that I was able to glue all of the little intricate details of Crescent Rose to. While that was drying, I decided to go ahead and start doing the finish, some of the finish dremeling on the blade. I wanted it to look like a sharp blade that could cut through grim flesh. So this took a while. It was a learning process and I think that it turned out pretty well. Each of the blade pieces, I just made sure to do both of the same blade pieces at the same time so that I would have a similar angle on each one of them. Once again, I have to stress the importance of wearing a mask. Even if it's not that comfortable, just be sure to do it when you're working with EVA foam dust or anything like that that can, you can breathe in that gets into your lungs because that's really not healthy for you. <laughs> and unfortunately, I lost a lot of the footage of me gluing on the pieces of Crescent Rose. However, it seemed to go pretty well. I just made sure on the flat portions, I used the contact cement and waited for it to dry and attached the pieces. And the final result, I'm actually really proud of it. I think that Crescent Rose looks pretty great and I am excited to do some finished dremeling, weathering, heat sealing, and painting.